So there I've created a synthetic benchmarking slash testing tool for comparing Nginx versus Apache. Uh, this is because I wanted to demonstrate a problem that I found that Nginx resolved for me. Um, your workload may vary, but I just wanted to show you this real quick. So the the tool is available on my program store GitHub page, and it's just Nginx Apache comparison. You just build it and run it. Um, I'll, I'll leave that out of this video. I just want to show you the key point that I'm trying to get across here. So these are various commands you can do for um, sending lots of requests at the same time. So I'm sending 100 requests um, total uh, here, and then but they're all being sent exactly at the same time. So concurrency is 100. So even for something as low as 100, so to give some context, this is for my API, which I'm having uh, code send requests to. So getting a lot of requests at the same time is not uncommon. Whereas a web server, maybe uh, if it's a low end usage one, it might be 20. But here I'm demonstrating Apache. So actually I want to do Nginx first because I want to show you that it works fine. Um, so this is my local machine sending 100 requests to Nginx. I just basically use different ports. Um, both Nginx and Apache are running in containers. And you can see that my two cores are running 100% and memory usage is only 544 megabytes, so half a gigabyte, hardly anything. Um, and it's sending off all across. Obviously, if I had more cores, it would go faster. But um, yes, so key point here is all 100 requests succeeded. You know, it took 20 seconds, which isn't great. If you need it to go faster, uh, maybe scale up, you know. Uh, but now we're going to do Apache with 100 requests. So we're going to do paste. And here we go. Watch this memory. 1007, 1.35, 1.65, 1.88. 2.24. Wow, okay. Yep. It's just climbing. Okay. And then around around here, we're running out of memory. So PHP is being starved. And then what do you know? Failed requests, 34. And just to show you that happening, uh, I'm going to do it again. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to just try and hit it myself. So there. Da, da, da. It will take a while to respond because it's being hammered. Da, da, da. Oh, no, that was fine. I got, I guess I got lucky that time. I'm going to do it again. Obviously, some of the requests do actually pass, so some of the requests do pass. Uh, but if, obviously, if you're running a web server, you want 100% of the requests to always succeed. Uh, yep. So this is you get out of memory. Um, but you know, if I bash deploy, I'll run nginx again. Uh, in fact, I'm going to run Nginx like ridiculously high. I'm going to go up to 500. Uh, so this is the Nginx 500. Paste. Three. And now I'm going to hit it as well. So Nginx here. Do -do -do -do. Memory consumption is hardly anything. All you have to worry about is with 500 requests, because they get queued up, is your request going to get fulfilled within the various timeouts that your configuration is set up for? Um, if you don't need your responses to be returned quickly and you care more about saving money, then you can just increase your timeouts. So, yeah, perfectly fine. It's still going. Um, I, I've actually found that. The more requests you have, the slower it goes per request. So not just overall, which you would expect, but actually the number of requests it can fulfill per second actually gets reduced, um, which I will uh, put statistics on my blog. I'm going to put the whole suite up there. But yeah, try it out for yourself. Um, maybe mess around with the, the synthetic workload. Um, obviously, I just have this is the entire work. It's just a little script. Converts a CSV to a um, JSON array and returns it. Um, I have a little sleep here to simulate uh, connecting to a database. Um, but yeah, so the same workload, two different web servers, 
two diff completely different results. All right, that's it for me.